Channel 1 Skylark News. This is Anna Heisenga reporting on the events from the book Trouble in the Pipeline, written by Franklin W. Dixon. In the book, Frank and Joe Hardy fly to Purdue, Alaska to rescue a friend, Scott Sanders. It is said that Scott was forced to make explosives for a worldwide terrorist group, the Assassins. What will happen if they force him to set the bombs off and blow up the whole Alaskan pipeline? Now we will go to Anna Heisinga at Frank and Joe Hardy's campsite in the woods. Thanks, Anna. This is Anna Heidenga, and it's very cold out here in Alaska. I'm at Frank and Joe Hardy's campsite with Jenna Blindberg. Jenna was watching when the Hardys were dropped out of an airplane after being kidnapped and when they were nearly attacked by a bear. Jenna, what happened to the Hardys after they were dropped out of the plane? Well, I didn't see it all. I was busy hiking in the woods, but I'm pretty sure that they set up a camp. Did you see the bear charge at them? Yes, I did. The bear was about to tear them into pieces when the Eskimo man and his dad scared the bear off. I think after that, that they went to the man's camp. Thanks, Jenna. Now we will go to Anna Heisinga, who is currently following the Hardys as they track down the captive Scott Sanders and the terrorist Sandy White in the Alaskan pipeline. Thanks, Anna. I'm Anna Heisinga here, following the Hardys in the Alaskan pipeline as they track down Sandy White and the captive Scott Sanders. Oh, there they are. Wow! Now the terrorist attached a bomb to Scott and is running away from the Hardys. Now we will go to Anna Heisinga, who will tell the rest of the story. Thanks, Anna. I'm Anna Heisinga with the rest of the story from the book Trouble in the Pipeline. Turns out, Frank managed to disable the bomb on Scott while Joe tried to catch up to Sandy White, who had left Scott and ran away. After a long run through the pipeline, Joe had nearly caught up to the terrorist. Just as he was about to catch up to him, Sandy White took out a fake tooth from his mouth that held a suicide pill. As he was struggling to get it open, Joe tackled him and the rescue helicopter picked up the terrorist to bring him to the authorities. Soon, much more about the assassins was known. And there goes the Hardys and Scott's airplane as they fly back to New York. I'm Anna Heisinga. Thanks for watching on Channel 1 Skylark News.